everybody. Okay. Um, it is midway through the day on um, Tuesday, Monday. It's Monday because Gracie's hair cleaning. And um, I hadn't uploaded a video yet this morning. I didn't have any left in my queue to, to upload. And I was going through my subscriptions and I ran into Amanda Sauna who tagged me to do this video, um, the behind the scenes YouTuber video. So I wrote down all the questions in my wonderful little composition book that was supposed to become a faux Benici, but um, I don't think I have the faux Benici gene. I, I tried and I kept messing it up, so it's just become my scribble for for taking notes. And I thought, well, you know what? I just washed my hair and I it's dry, but I need to condition it. So I thought, well, I'll answer these questions while I put some conditioner in my hair. So here we go. See, it faded a little bit. It's not too bad, but it did fade a little bit. All right, so this is the behind the scenes YouTuber tag. Um, so here we go. Um, what camera do you use? Well, I use a Lumax um, DC Vario camera. It's got a built-in Leica lens. It's just a, you know, it's a, it's not a, uh, what do you call that? You know, the kind you can, manually do the thing on it's kind of a point and shoot but it's got a really nice lens and um you know it does hate hd and all that a 20x full hd so i'm pretty i'm pretty cool with this camera i really like it um i can't add uh, uh lenses to it so i'm kind of just stuck with what i get but that's okay it works great um and I love it. And I got it at Costco. Well, actually, my husband bought it for me at Costco for $130. So, you know, it's a pretty reasonable investment for a good camera. Um, what editing system? I use uh, just the onboard editor that YouTube has in its creator studio thing. I don't... I. I really love to watch and completely appreciate artistic editing. Um, I love it when... I don't know how you make it happen, but you know, a lot of a lot of beauty people use that one where the pretty writing it writes itself out in like a script and it does these little embellishes. I don't know where you what software suite has that, but I love that. I love it when the different pictures, you know, come up as if they were like, you know, pictures in a um, an old-fashioned album or something. I love all that stuff. But I just haven't taken the time to track down what the programs are, learn to use them, all that. I just, um, I just haven't. And in part it's, I think it's because of how my, um, my filming and how my, um, style of vi video is evolving. And that, it, it's very much this talking head me looking right straight at you just talking 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 with one shot you know not a lot of um, not much that's cobbled together so I don't really need special editing at this point um, <clears throat> artificial or natural light um, artificial I I mean it's it's a bright beautiful day outside this afternoon it's around three something and I'm in here in my um, artificial light that I got from um, that I got from Amazon. I did a video on it already. And boy, I tell you what, I, I love artificial light. I, am, I, I, I think it's because it, I mean, you know, it evens out everything and um, I don't have to squint. I just, I really like it. Um, and let's see, um, plus I don't have any windows that are where the where the light will come in and hit me where I can sit in front of them. The way my house and my mom's houses are um, are situated on the property and because of the trees and stuff, I just don't I don't have that option. So anyway, um, what's the top item on my filming wish list? Well, you know, probably um, it is a new up to date laptop. Um, right now, I'm using an old laptop. Um, that uh, my husband gave me to use and it works fine but it's slow and it, it it isn't all updated and blah 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 i would like a new laptop to do all this on um but you know as far as like lighting and camera and all that stuff is concerned i'm really happy with what i'm using so i don't have like a 
a big wish list. I think later on, maybe next year after I've really gotten into this and, you know, maybe expanded my video, my content, ex expanded my content offerings, maybe to incorpor incorporate more things like um, craft, how-tos and stuff like that. I think at that point I'm going to want a digital SLR. That's the name. Okay. I'm going to want a digital SLR. Um, um, probably a Canon, a Canon, but maybe a Nikon, whichever one, um, with, you know, a really good portrait lens and some, some of that other stuff. That would be, that would be neat. I would like that eventually. But right now this is, this is cool. Um, what is your favorite day of the week to uh, film? I, I don't have a favorite day. I try to film every single day because filming, I mean, you know, making videos is something I do. I do because of how it makes me feel. I mean, it's, it's part of my own, like, therapy and life and um, social life and all of that. So, um, I, actually, I like to film every single day because it makes me feel like I'm closer to all y'all. Um, do you plan your videos? If so, how? Well, I think usually I have some idea of what I'm going to talk about when I sit down. Sometimes um, I go to my little book where I've written down my video ideas and I'll, you know, peruse that and pick something out. Um, I don't, I'm not real good at planning and that's one of the reasons why I haven't done a lot of the videos I've, I've said I was going to do. My video on Paris, I haven't done that. My video showing you guys um, all the stuff about my store, pictures of my store and all that. Um, you know, so much, so many of those things require, you know, you have to make a slideshow or, or do other things, find, you know, um, props and whatever. I, I went home to find Green Monkey so I could do that one. But, um, uh, yeah, um, um, I don't really play on them. Although, one thing I do a lot is when I'm, see, I listen. I really listen to what you guys say in your videos. And I'll often make notes about something you said that's caused me to think of something else and then I'll go back and the um, the content of, of a video like that Joys of Cronehood that came out of something that someone and I can't remember who it was or what it was but someone had said something that jogged my memory about Cronehood and that's where that video came from so a lot of my videos come from um, just listening to what my friends have to say in their videos not technically video responses although I do some of those too but just more you know you're kind of jogging my own mind like a very long-winded, slowly retarded um, <laughs> conversation. Um, okay, um, how long does it take you to film an average video? Um, well, it takes me however many, much time is on that. Um, you know, whatever, however it says, however many minutes, that's how long it took me to videotape it. Because I don't do, yeah, I don't do a bunch of shots and cobble everything together. So it's, it's very immediate, very real time. Um, and so, but to answer that question in terms of how long, I mean, most of my videos, um, are anywhere from what, like about eight to 20 minutes, some are around 12 minutes. They're coming in right around there these days. It varies. Um, how many hours do you, does it take you to edit your average video? I don't edit a lot of these. A lot of these I'll, I'll upload them as unlisted. I'll go and look at them and make sure that, you know, I didn't say anything stupid <laughs> and I have to like take the whole thing down which I <laughs> it's only happened once that I can recall <laughs> and, or that um, there's any glitches or anything and if it looks fine boom I just I just publish it right then in there um, sometimes I do cobble things together but it hardly takes any time at all I mean, maybe the most 10 or 20 minutes is probably all I've ever really spent um, uh, what's my favorite type of video to film I don't know what you call this type of video, but it's this type of video um, where I'm talking about something and I'm talking directly to you about something. Um, and like I just mentioned, it's often something that it's often a, a, an, a topic that you have brought up yourself in your own videos that I'm sort of responding to. Uh, these are my favorite types. I don't, I don't do, I don't really like to do haul videos to tell you the truth. Um, I don't like to do um, makeup how to's. I've never really done one because I don't really know how, you know, how to. Um, 
I don't do outfits of the day and I don't do that kind of stuff. Um, although I enjoy watching yours, I don't enjoy doing that myself. I like to talk. So I like to do videos where I just, you know, yammer on for 12 minutes about something. Um, okay. Um, do people at my school or work know about my channel? Uh, well, I'm not in school and I don't work, but um, I know what you're saying about that. And not really. I mean, um, I have a couple of my, like, in my world friends um, who watch my videos. Um, Ab Abigail, of course, watches my videos. Um, my sister watches my videos most of the time. I'll, I don't know if, Mary, I don't know if you watch all my videos, but um, if you do, thanks. Uh, but that's about it. I mean, most of my other friends aren't, aren't, aren't into YouTube, really. And like I said before, there are two types of people in this world. The people who do YouTube videos and everybody else. So most of my friends are in the everybody else um, category. Um, okay. Um, how do you think of a video idea? I think I pretty well covered that. It's usually um, something that's been inspired by somebody else or a question someone's asked or, um, you know, some thought that comes to me that I want to share, something in my past that I want to share, like I want to share my um, trip to, to Paris. I really want to share that with you guys. I just need to get, that requires more work to get it together. Um, oh, do you feel awkward filming in front of people or in public? Okay, this is funny. I, no, I mean, especially when, like, let's say, well, when we were at Teppanyaki the other day and there was this couple sitting next to us and I asked them if they minded, if they wanted to be in our video. Oh, I love that. Oh, I could do that all day long. That's really fun. It's a little more intimidating to be walking down the aisles of Walmart holding my phone, talking at it while I'm showing things, trying to avoid people's faces. I mean, that's a little, that's a little more disconcerting. Although, last night, okay, I finally took my spy pin to Walmart. I have this. I should have brought it. It just looks like a regular pin. And I clipped it here and I turned it on and it was doing the video. Boy, I was excited. I was going to get pictures of people looking at my funny blue hair and I was going to show you the junk I buy at Walmart, right? Well, the di because my boobs are so, there's like a shelf here, right? The damn pin was pointing up and all I got was my voice and the Walmart ceiling for 21 minutes. God. So I had, my husband suggested that I stick it between my boobs and then cant it out this way, you know, so, so the pin can be sticking out like this. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out. I just, the idea of walking around with a spy pin, I just love that. Although I'm thinking about getting the spy glasses because they, they're, then, you're, then you're right at eye level with everybody. Not those eyeglass things or whatever they're called. Not, the, not that Google, not, not Google Glass, but, the, you know, the other kind that just look like regular glasses. So anyway, I'm thinking about getting those. Um, but I love my spy pin. It makes me feel like Get Smart. It makes me feel like 99 on Get Smart. She was hot. Um, let's see. Um, do you or your YouTube friends plan out videos together? Um, no, not really. Um, although we speak to one another's videos so often that it almost seems like we're planning them out, but we don't. At least I don't. Um, what is your subscriber goal by the end of the year? Um, you know, it's funny. I sub back to everybody who subs to me, or at least I have so far. And I think I've got like 250 subscribers right now. Um, and I'm probably subbed to about 300 people. Um, most of whom don't make videos. Anyway, I know that I'm, I'm going to have to stop doing that after a while, simply because I'm not going to be able to keep up with everybody. And I like to keep up with everybody. I... I watch everyone's video and I almost always comment. Um, not because I feel like I have to, but because I feel like you guys are my friends and I'm interested in what you have to say and what you have to show me and what you brought home from Dollar Tree and how you're feeling about your pet dying and all that stuff. I mean, I am really, truly interested and so, well, hitting my camera. Um, and so I want to respond and I want to like keep a dialogue going because I love you. Um, but at some point, I'm going to have to stop subbing to everyone. And I don't know what point that's going to be. Um, 
I have a feeling somewhere around when I get about 300 subscribers, I think that's where I'm going to have to cut that off. And I'll have to be, God, I hate to use the word selective because that sounds exclusive and I, and I don't mean it that way. But um, I'll have to be a little more um, focused about what I subscribe to at that point. Um, and that kind of makes me feel sad because the first 250 people that I've subscribed to, gosh, a big chunk of you guys are, are be, I mean, at least 30 of you are becoming friends of mine. So it's sad to think that I'm going to miss out on becoming friends with other people, but there's only so many hours in the day, you know, so only so much time to interact. And so I have a feeling it'll be about at that point. So anyway, um, to get back to my goal, I never really had a goal. Uh, I was just, I was just thrilled when the first person I didn't know subscribed to me. That, that was more fr thrilling probably than anything else. And um, then just as, you know, as the subscribership has only grown over the past, not quite a year, it's been about a year, maybe a little less. Um, as that's grown, um, it's, you know, been more and more enriching because I've met more people and, um, and it's been like all the social life I've been able to have because I'm sort of captive here at my mom's house. Um, and, and after I'm no longer captive at my mom's house, it's not going to change. I mean, you know, you know, you people that I'm getting to know and call friend, you're going to be my friend no matter where I end up next. And I'm going to still be on YouTube and I'm still going to be doing what I do. So that's not going to change. But um, you guys really helped me through a very difficult year. I, I honest to God, don't, don't know how I would have gotten through this without you. Um, so back to the goal. So at the end of the year, maybe... I mean, if I had 500 people, that would be cool. I would love to get to that, that first 1,000. That would be really, really neat. I would love to have that first 1,000. And then someday in the dim and misty future, getting to 10,000 is cool because you get, you get something from YouTube. They send you something, so that would be nice. But between 250 and 10,000, I'm fine with whatever happens. So, yeah. Um, okay. Who do you tag to do this tag next? Well, I'll tell you. I tag anybody who sees this who is really into their behind the scenes. I mean, any of you who um, are, um, you know, you're into your equipment or um, you want to you wanna learn more about equipment, you have, like, questions about what, what you want next, just any of you who are really into the behind the scenes part of it. I know a lot of people aren't. I mean, you just, if they flip on... You know, you guys will just flip on your the camera that's on your laptop and go, and that's all that really matters. So, you know, then that's cool, too. Whatever. Whatever gets you on, gets another video up on your channel is all good. So, I think I'm done. My hair's been um, conditioned. I washed it this morning. Like I said, I didn't lose a whole lot of the color. It softened up, and it will. Um... So, but that's okay. I've got plenty more dye where that came from. So, now I'm off to pay bills. Oh my god, I hate that. That is the job I hate more than anything. But I've got a stack of them, so I need to sit down with a checkbook. I need to pay all my mom's bills. I need to pay my bills. And then I can breathe a sigh of relief and, I don't know, go do something. I think I might cut out a dress. I want to make a dress for summer. It probably won't fit me, but whatever. Okay, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.